Just a heads up, this isn't Grapevine's main channel. Its main channel is on screen right now. If you just want Grapevine videos, go subscribe to that one. Enjoy the video. Hello again. You know about cryptids, right? The common Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Mermaid, Megalodon, potentially even the Kappa. Well, let me help you broaden your cryptozoology knowledge from just those names. From going to the most known in five entries. I bet they won't be your common cryptid. Number one, Mothman. I have a bet that at least 60% of you have heard of Mothman, but for those who haven't, let's tell you the story. <coughs> the story goes it was November 15th, 1966. Clen Clendine, West Virginia, a TNT area. Roger Linda Stephen Mary were driving in a 57 Chevrolet Bel Air when Linda noticed two glowing red eyes. Roger stalled the car inspecting the creature, noting it wasn't a bird, it had two wings and was more humanoid than anything else. Then they drove to the town and reported it to the sheriff. The creature itself is apparently a bad omen, as it is reportedly sighted near sites of death, major tragedy or plane destruction, such as in Chernobyl and Freeburg before a mine collapse. As for what it looked like, it's he is commonly depicted as bipedal, winged humanoid, looking more like an owl with a reported wingspan of 10 to 15 feet. He has a massive red eyes and can fold his wings up. And now we'll rattle through some potential explanations of this. One, it could be a heron or sandhill crane, both of them have a more human-like look. Two, a barn owl or tawny owl, with, with it often being cited as a looking owl-like, the mothman. Also, another thing could be a folie à deux, or a shared delusion, causing everyone to, like, make up the same thing. Number two, jackalope. Thinking about this one, it could be a bit more famous, but whatever. This one would need a bit of introduction just in case. A rabbit, but with horns, and sometimes pheasant tail. A mention of it was from cowboy campfire tales of these creatures mimicking voices. The first mention of it was from Persia, however this depicted the rabbit with only one horn. And that is this to this cryptid, just a funny little rabbit with horns. For the explanation bit, it's a tiny bit gruesome, so if you guys want to skip it, Go to the timestamp on the screen in 3, 2, 1. You brave enough? Okay. Well, this cryptid is real, but it exists terrible suffering to the animal. It is most likely rabbits with sheep papilloma, papilloma virus, causing massive tumours made of keratin, basically, growing out of their skulls to form horn-shaped appendages that are basically just massive fingernail made tumours basically but it does only affect rabbits and other such species welcome back anyway number three is bunyip a popular cryptid especially in new south wales australia the bunyip's first sighting was reported when james meehan and hamlin hume found large bones in lake bathurst they described the bones as hippo or, man or manatees. In 1847, someone found an unusual skull on the Murmuri on the Murmurbiggy River. Experts call it a deformed calf skull. The last mention of the origins will be a legend stating a man called Bunyip broke the rainbow serpent's law by eating the serpent's to totem animal. Oh. That was a tasty snake. How, how dare, dare you? you. That's, That's my totem animal. animal. Wait, how was I supposed to know? Turn him into a creature. creature. What? Wait, why? I didn't know. Ah! According to Wikipedia, the bunyip has been described as amphibious, almost entirely aquatic, and there are no reports of this creature on land. The physical description says 60% of sightings resembling seals or swimming dogs and 20% of sightings are long-necked creatures with small heads. The remaining descriptions are ambiguous. The seal variety of sightings are often between 4 to 6 feet long with black or brown coats. There are also sightings that say it has a dog face, dark fur, horse tail, flippers, wolves tusks and a crocodile like head and a duck bill. Now here is an explanation or two. 
One, the bunyip could just be a misidentified seal, cassowary or platypus. It could also stem from those bones, which could be from the diprodoton or other Aust- extinct Australian animals. Number four, sky rods. You probably have seen this, but you didn't know it was a cryptid. There was barely any sightings of them, and for a good reason. But first, a quick description to see if you can guess the explanation. Appearing off a Often on cameras, air rods are bumpy or straight lines that vibrate rapidly. Most of the times these rods are blurry or out of focus and have the capability to turn in the third dimension. Comment what you think the explanation is. Are you ready? The explanation is insects or birds. You see, in the 90s, cameras would need longer time to take pictures, allowing the bugs moving around blowing together into a long line as the camera captures. That's what a sky rod is. Number five, the Jersey Devil. I bet you know where this creature comes from. Jersey? Yes, ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. In all seriousness though, the first sighting of the devil was in 1909. Newspapers published sightings from all across the state. One such newspaper claimed the people writing in witness to attack a trolley car in Haddon Heights. This creature caused a stir that schools were shut and zoos put out of panties on the creature to turn it into an attraction, of course. The Jersey de- Devil is native to the Pine Barrows, described as having, as, has it, as having hooves, a snake's tail, bat wings and a horse head, and it is related to the Leeds Devil, uncovering two in one. That uncovering two cryptids in one wouldn't hurt, would it? The Leeds Devil can glow, breathe fire, and poison water with the look of a classic dragon. The legends go that the locals tracked down the dragon to Mother Leeds, who was a witch, when she gave birth to a thirteenth child. He turned into a hairy monster and went on a rampage. Explanation? Well, the main theory is bats. Was a hammerhead bat mistaken for a mysterious demon and mass hysteria took over from there? However, the hammerhead bat comes from Africa, meaning someone would need to keep one as a pet, and it would have needed to escape. But that is the best theory so far, apart from mass hysteria, which is probably the most reasonable explanation for any of these. And thus closes our top five cryptids. Hope you learned something new, and as always, you didn't hear it from me. You heard it on the grapevine. And happy Halloween. Credits is A to Z 